Hello my fabulous Scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidholics Kids Design Team layout. So for this one, I pulled the gorgeous stamp, color study stamp that came in the mixed media kit and I stamped a whole bunch of the beautiful florals. I think one of those leaves is actually a feather, but I really wanted it for its leaf leafiness, so I'm doing it. I've also got the Ranger mixed media mat there and I'm just drawing the Vicky Booten crayons in a big scribble just directly onto that mat. Uh, and I'm going to use these as a bit like having a watercolor palette. So I've got my water and my brush there ready to go. And I'm gonna do some messy coloring in of those beautiful florals. So just do dosing up the brush with the purple. I'm just splodging it on randomly in no particular place on a bunch of those flowers. Then going in with the blue and I'm just gonna do the same so that I'm just attempting to sort of color in my floral pieces not very carefully and not perfectly there's going to be white space there is going to be a mix of colors they're not going to look identical this is going to dry quite a bit lighter than it looks right now um and yeah i'm just going with this kind of messy splodgy feel i also use quite a variety of colors i you know, I could have kept it simple and just kind of kept two or three color choices, but I ended up using quite a few. And I just keep going until I've basically used all of the colors that I have on my mat. Uh, and then I feel like my flowers are colored in just enough. You can see I did have a little bit of color, a color, a little bit of a problem stamping the medium sized color flower. It must have a bit of a dodgy bit in the center that I just, I could not, no matter how hard I tried, I could not get it to print. I was leaning on it and pushing on it and just, yeah, could not get the surface of the stamp to touch the surface of the paper, but that's all good. So I am just about finished, just adding some highlights in the yellow. And now I'm going to come in with some mixed media. So I've got my black, um, acrylic paint and a brayer here and I'm just layering this on it's going to be quite a full-on background I was trying to bring out my inner Sue Plum but she would never have used a big massive black like this let's be honest um and it totally comes together for my particular layout but it was a little bit much I'm not gonna lie so putting on some light yellow splatters because yellow is sort of going to be my color of choice in this particular layout. Um, I was really drawn to the yellow square paper and the word wonderful. So that has dried. I've cut out a little square of this beautiful florally red and yellow paper. I've got some strips here, just adding a little bit of torn edge to give a little bit of texture and just layering all those up together like so. Then I am going to take all of my beautiful flowers and add some clusters. Oh yeah, pulling out my, this is the very first time I have ever, ever used gauze in a layout. As I said, I'm pulling out my inner Sue Plum. Um, I definitely need to keep working on my Sue Plum-esque style, but I did love it, so I'm definitely going to give it another try. I just adored having her on the design team so that I could learn and watch her videos and, and get upskilled from all of her amazing techniques. So I am giving it a go this month. So I'm going to layer all that in, put my photo up on foam and pop it in the center. This is a picture from our wedding day, just a silly selfie before we walk into the ceremony, uh, the the party, the reception afterwards. We are officially married and we're coming in to party. Uh, that's all of the bridal party and everything in there. So once I have this sort of main gist stuck down, you can see that's kind of the, the background of the layout, I suppose. And here's my gorgeous title. Um, this was fussy cut from that beautiful page Evans paper where it has the wonderful in numerous times but in the beautiful colors I just actually glued it onto black paper and then cut it around leaving a really small little border I just felt because of this black heavy background it needed that 
Um, I think I get away with having such a deep, dark black background because the gentlemen obviously are all in suits for the wedding. So I think I've got away with it with that. Then in come my gorgeous florals. I'm really happy with how they turned out. They're not super bright, but they just give off this gorgeous rainbow sort of coloured, um, coloured, that's it, this rainbow sort of colours uh, in the, in the, in the, in the layout. And I just think they work really, really well. Again, I'm, I'm just adding a little extra pop of color to each of the clusters using the Paige Evans florals. And I've obviously pulled the ones, sort of the smaller ones from, from that pack as well, just to get, um, I don't want them to overpower the beautiful stamped ones, but I do want to have just a little bit of, of color popping out from there. And I'm just, yeah, I'm really happy with the way this sort of came together and how this mixed media looks. Have to be careful with this photo. I can't really overlap anything because there's so many of us trying to squeeze into a selfie. Um, and it was also 10 years ago. So our, you know, arm length, well, eight years ago. So our arm length and how... Um, ability to take a selfie well wasn't so good then and I can't yet yeah, overlap too much on the edge of the photo because I'll cut somebody out and I definitely don't want to do that so yeah this is the general gist of how this one is going to come together so I'm going to jump ahead and stick it all down exactly as you see it now Okay, so she is all stuck down and ready to go. I haven't trimmed any of the overlapping florals yet. Uh, as the glue is still a little bit wet, I want to wait till they are dry before I cut those off the edge of the page. And I'm just having a play with a few little bits and bobs just to add a little bit of highlights to this page. So I'm pulling off some of the gorgeous puffy love hearts that came on the thicker sheet. And then I'm also going to get out the Vicky Booten um, sticker book and have a look what other little stickers I might be able to put on. At the moment, I'm thinking just using the black word phrases, but you never know. So I'm, I'm going to have a quick squeeze at the other ones as well. Um, so I am going to add some words to the clusters. I realized I've got five clusters on my page, which is totally fine, but I probably don't need five tiny word stickers. I think that would end up looking a little bit like a snicker, sticker sneeze all over my page. So I'm just going to do a couple that are word appropriate to the purpose of this layout. And once they are done, I'm going to come on in with my gold. This is the Jen Hatfield gold, which I just love. It splatters on so super well. Um, it's really smooth and wet. Uh, in a good way because, yeah, those splatters, you can see that the splatters come out in a bigger sort of variance of size than the black Heidi Swap Color Shine is doing. They're much tinier splatters, so I really like the Jen Hatfield one. And this layout is complete. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I have inspired you to pull out your stamp and maybe get some stamping happening um, and just to have a play with some mixed media on your layout. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic, happy, scrappy week.